guys welcome back for another video so today i am filming for you guys a cook and bake with me so i can't wait to share those recipes with you guys but first let's start this vlog off with a prayer and today's prayer is dear faithful father teach me to wait upon your answer to my request help me to understand that i do not have the right to dictate what i want to happen instead i should submit upon your will whether you would grant me my request or not while I am in this process of waiting, may I learn to trust you more and not my own instincts and decisions. I commit everything to you, O oh God. May your will be done in my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So I pray that that prayer blesses you guys today. So let's see what we're making today, you guys. Um, I know first thing before I even get to baking, because normally I like to do my baking first. But I need to marinate first the Tuscan I'm going to give it like a Tuscan marinade with lemon, garlic, and herbs. So we'll marinate the chicken and then put it in the fridge. And then we're going to bake cookies today. So today we're making the soft and chewy M&M cookies. And this one, you don't have to chill the cookie dough. So that's good because it'll save me on some time. So we'll be doing that. The kids will be happy. They know I'm baking today. They just don't know what, I, what I'm making. So there's that and to go along with the chicken i am making arroz con ganules so i will make sure to leave the recipe to all of that in my description box just in case you guys want to go ahead and check it out i just finished doing the to-do list not a to-do list things that i do for this entire week i don't know what is when i see it like this it makes me feel productive it makes me feel like i did something you know <laughs> but yeah i'm getting ready i just uploaded a short here um from the last from the last cooking and baking that i did so today is monday you guys will watch this on friday um and i uploaded a cook and bake with me on friday so i'm doing a little short to um i guess to promote the video because that one out of all my videos when i do cooking and baking those are my least popular ones even though i absolutely love to film them but it is what it is all right y'all got my apron on isn't she pretty i just love it the third apron has not arrived yet i i got a message saying that it was on its way but i still haven't received it yet so let me show you guys what you will need so it asked for a third cup of olive oil oregano crushed rosemary it also called the four crushed red pepper but I don't want it spicy so I'm gonna skip that some regular pepper kosher salt two lemons um, two lemon zest and juiced and also some garlic so let's marinate this chicken so we can put it in the fridge just so much easier that way and I already have the butter in here so this is one cup of the Crisco um, stick butter it's great for cookies and they already come soft so 
that's a process I don't have to do. Three cups of flour, it already has one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, two eggs, pure vanilla extract. So I got myself ready for measuring it out. One cup of chocolate chips, one cup of M&Ms, and a cup of brown sugar, and three, four cup of granola sugar. I'm going to go ahead and cream the butter first. Let that go for, I'm gonna say two, three minutes, depends. They go a little faster. So I'm gonna add the egg one at a time. I was gonna do a double batch of cookie recipe, but no, I'm just gonna make them smaller so they last longer. But when I bake anything, y'all, it don't last long. The pound cake that I made in that last cooking bake with me, that one lasted only, I would say a day and a half, almost two days, but now a full two days. So I'll say a day and a half. So that's in there. Make sure I got a spatula ready. Not spatula, scraper. Okay, I'm gonna do one, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Oh, this is half a steep. Wrong measurement. Sorry, y'all. the right one. All right. This is the right one. The other one I use is dirty and sink, so. My favorite thing to one of my favorite things to bake is cookies because it's so easy to make it's not even funny all right so let that let me make sure i scrape the sides and stuff before i add the flour now this recipe does say that um you don't have to refrigerate this cookie recipe but i don't know i'm so used to doing that plus the way the butter is feeling so soft you know, because sometimes when you don't refrigerate your cookie, though, it gets like you get a flat cookie. That's the oven letting me know that it's finished. So I don't want that to happen. Let me get a, another spoon. I don't want that to happen, so I'm scared. I don't know. I'll see how this feels once I add the flour, because it could be the way it looks now is really soft. But if I add the flour in there, it might be, um, it might, you know, not be so soft. All right, so I'm gonna start adding the flour a little bit at a time. Okay, okay, it's looking better. in a little form now. Alright. Go a little faster now. Alright guys, so y'all already know that for the month of February we are sharing um, some sort of black history so I decided to do black inventors and I have been sharing black invent inventors in the previous vlogs as well so today I will be sharing with you Madam CJ Walker which I'm sure you know about her she is definitely well known but Madam CJ Walker was born Sarah Breedlove Madam CJ Walker became the first black woman millionaire by inventing a line of cosmetics and hair products aimed at black consumers in the first decades of the 20th century Walker pioneered the use of female sales, sales agents who traveled door to door across the U.S. and Caribbean selling her products. An active philanthropist, Walker also was an early champion of the employee development and offered business training and other educational opportunities to her workers as a means of helping other black women achieve financial independence.
last batch of cookies in the oven i have some cooling so one thing that i do is um because these cookies are bigger i um add a little bit more cooking time so it says eight to ten minutes i did 13 and then i let it cook all i take it out of the oven let it cook all the way like still keep on cooking on the actual baking sheet so sitting on top of the stove just because the heat from the pan still cooks the cookies so i do that for another two three minutes and they're exactly like perfect they're so soft y'all so of course y'all already know i have a bunch of dishes to to wash when don't i so i'm getting ready to tackle these dishes um so they don't pile up on me but they still will anyway and let's get that done washed i'm finished with the cookie cookies they're cooling down i did have a cookie it's really good but like when i bake and stuff i give myself like a one slice of cake limit one cookie same thing with the cookies i give myself like just one cookie and then that's it i leave it there and just give it to the kids for the rest of them because i love to bake i just i can't eat all that you know drinking my h2o it's a little too soon for me to cook. It's actually early in the day. But once I get back, I'm going to start dinner. I was, I'm contemplating on either searing the chicken on the stove or using my husband's ninja and cooking it in there. I'm leaning more to using, more to using my husband's ninja. It's like a little ninja grill, which is amazing. I don't know. The problem is I don't know how to use that thing. I'm going to just be pressing buttons. 
trying to figure it out. <laughs> All right, but real quick, y'all, since I haven't done it in the past few vlogs, I'm going to do it here. I'm going to do the Fetch Leadership Board shout out. If you don't know what Fetch is, it's a app that you use to scan your receipts and you get points towards gift cards. Love using the app, which I'm getting pretty close to getting another gift card. Um, I just got out of Fetch Jail <laughs> just to be right back in it. So, cause I'm always scanning receipts and stuff like that, but I recommend recommend it. It does have a few pet peeves on my like I'm always in fetch jail because I'm always scanning receipts, but they have like what a 35 receipt limit every seven days or something like that. And I'm always I'm always exceeding that. Um, I really think there shouldn't be no limit, okay? But I like to do the leadership board shout out because you guys are on here and I get to call out your name and you know, and the leadership board is basically who's been scanning the most receipts. So let's do that real quick. Um, number one is Ted Fideki. Girl, you're killing it. Okay. Number two is my friend Tiffany Michelle. If you don't watch her channel, her channel name is Tiff's Family Vibes. Love her videos. She is hilarious. Her link to her channel is down in my description box, so make sure you go ahead and check her out. Number three is Yesenia Martinez. Number four is Aracha Summers. Number five is me. Number six is Wendy Heinz Solman. I hope I said that correctly. If I did, I'm so sorry. It's Wendy Heinz Heinz Solman. Okay. Number seven is my friend Shanti's lifestyle. Also, um, Shanti, you will love her channel. If you don't follow her channel, her link is down also in my description box. She has a cleaning channel and a vlog channel. All right, number eight is Michael White. Number nine is Debbie Martin. Number 10 is Shelly Demps. 11 is Tanya Sampson. 12 is Yolanda Mims. 13 is Tanil Jackson. I hope I said that right. 14 is Deshauna M. 15 is LXIV, 16 is Kimberly Spell, 17 is Latronia, or Latronia Frisco, 18 is Sweet Lady, that's a good one, that's nice, 19 is Angela Bradley, and number 20 is Miss J, so that's the top 20 spots on the Fetch Leadership Board. If you don't have Fetch, here's my referral code if you would like to use it i'll leave it somewhere here and if you already have fetch but you're not in my stuff all you gotta do is go to the friends thing on here and type in simply yesenia you can add me on there and um it will add you to my leadership board <laughs> out but I'm not gonna start the chicken first because it makes a lot of noise and I'm not able to talk to you guys so um, I'm gonna get the rice started first and then get on it with the get on the chicken so first I gotta make a sofrito which is gonna consist of some onions some peppers I would have rather used green peppers but I don't have that so you kind of have to use what you have which the red one works just fine I'm gonna add some cilantro in here and I hope I can fit everything in here let me put you guys down real quick. So I got the cilantro in there and then I have the scallions. I'm gonna put some garlic in here too. But I'm gonna chop it up first and then add the scallions because right now there's no space. That's my little chopper, I love this thing. And then I gotta cut up some tomatoes too. Let's do this real quick. Chop. not doing me good kind of wrap this up around the blade all right we got some scallions everything has been washed as well just to let you guys know didn't think I needed to say it but you just never know <laughs> So it's chopped up put that in there so that's done all I have to do is take this little blade out 
If you can smell this right now, this thing smells so good. Oh, y'all look at this. Let me this out the way. So that's ready. And now I'm gonna chop up the dice of some tomatoes and then we're gonna get started. All right, y'all, so I got the pot warming up. I've had this pot for 10 years now. It got a few scratches on it, but it still works just fine. So I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil first. Make sure it's on there good. Let me lower down the heat a little bit. And then I'm gonna add the sofrito. Let that cook between five to six minutes. Now, keep in mind, I always double up the recipe, so everything I do is doubled up at the very least. Especially if you want more for other days. You could, if you have more rice up, because I know I don't have enough chicken for two days, you could get like a roasted chicken or something or cook a different meat to go along with the rice. Because it's so good, all right? I got that. Move that out of the way. And then let's stir this up. Oh, it smells so good. All right, y'all, let's add the tomatoes. And then we're gonna add some salt to it. Oh, there's a piece of tomato here that I didn't cut up real good. I'm gonna just try to put it in little pieces. Okay. Now I'm also gonna add some salt at that cook. And add some salt. Just, you know, you have to add the salt. So I, I'm, I'm not measuring the seasoning. I just know by I in how much I need. That's good enough. And just let that cook. Time to add the rice, and then you have to stir. the guandules, both cans, there's already, I've drained the juice that was in there, the water, so that's done. I'm gonna add the water. We're also gonna add some chicken bouillon. I don't measure, I just do like a teaspoon. I do about this much. All right. And then last but not least, I'm gonna add some sazon. So you gotta be careful with the salt because this has salt in it and so does this. So sazon now has flavor, but it also has, um, it's what gives it the color. So. I'm gonna stir and see if that's good. Let me turn the heat up a little bit, let it, so like that can start simmering and then I'm gonna turn the heat back down. So that's good. I'm gonna add a little bit more sauce on. Now these also come in packets, so if you go to Walmart to look for them, they come in packets, so most of the time that's how they come. I like to get the bottle like that, preferably. But if you were to do it, if you were doing like the amount of the recipe, I would do just one packet. If you're doubling it up, I'll say a packet and a half, maybe two. So that's good. And let the heat, um, let the heat, you know, do its thing. So right now it's actually simmering. So I just put the heat to medium and just let it cook all the way down till the water evaporates. Once the water evaporates, I lower down the heat, just have it nice and low, and that's when I add the heat. All right, my beautiful friends, I don't know how to use this thing. My husband's the one that normally does it, but I'm about to figure it out. It can't be that hard, can it? 
Okay, so I just plugged it in. Turn it on. It says chicken um, to cook on between 30 to 20 minutes on 360. So let's do the temperature. Oh, I can't do that. Okay, grill. 360. I'm gonna ask, it has to be pretty warm, right? No, it has to be air crisp. That's what it says, right? Air crisp tips. Okay. Or no, grilling tips. But I don't see. Is it supposed to be 360? Okay, I want it to be. Okay, let's go down to 360. That's for chicken. It shows air crisp tips. Chicken, 360. Okay, so we'll do 360. And then let's do. Let's pre warm it. So does it have to pre. Okay. Okay, that's good, but then let's pre warm it on four minutes. It says pre. Okay, cool. I'm gonna figure it out. Alright, y'all. So this thing is saying to add hold on. I'm over here storing the rice at the same time. I don't want it to burn through the heat. Because the the water is starting to evaporate. So give me a second. It says to add food. So I'm about to do that now. Alright, so normally we would spray it with some Pam, but I don't think we need to because we, uh, let me move this a little bit over here. It's, this is marinated in olive oil, so I don't think we need to. Alright, so red tongs means uncooked meat. I don't use the same tongs for the food. Let's do one. Let's see how many I have to fit in here. Also not trying to overcrowd. Man, if I do a good job with this machine, it's over. This becomes my machine. I'm just kidding, but you know what I mean. I cook all the meat in this thing. Okay. One of you lovely people here on YouTube sent this to John, and we love it. Okay. Do I have a smaller piece? No. Let me just put another one in here. Okay. Put... 20 minutes and I'm gonna, what I think I'm gonna do no I know I'm gonna do is flip it halfway so I got four chicken breasts in here okay I added the food is what's this on uh, no not a count now I need t more time on this thing 20 minutes yeah we hurry up because the rice needs to be oh okay I don't need to press start or anything Okay, there you go. Moving you guys back over here, you see the water is pretty much gone. I'm going to stir one more time before I, I'm sorry, before I close the lid. Make sure everything is good. All right, lower it down the heat and put the lid on. Should be good to go. Alright y'all, so I kind of had it on the wrong ser um, setting. I had it on air crisp and I was supposed to have it on grill. So it's telling me to add the food. So I had to kind of, the, the first batch is already on a plate. So once everything is done, I'll show you guys. So the, let me put this one in here. It wasn't that much many chicken breast. I do wish I had more, but it is what it is. Make sure this one got off the essence, like my friend Tip likes to say. <laughs> Accommodate her there properly. You get little pieces of chicken and put it to the grill. And that should be it. All right. So that says ten minutes. Okay. All right, y'all. So I apologize if it's a little loud, but. Y'all know the machine is on and I gotta check on the rice. Isn't she perfect? All right, so, yep. I always do that. All right, so she pretty much is on. It is uh, almost done. I checked it earlier, the rice was not all the way done. I'm gonna put it in there, leave it there in here for a little bit longer. It just, it's on low, so it's no big deal. But, Oh my god, came out perfect.
y'all guys i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and keep a lookout for my next videos you guys bye y'all